everybody. I'd like to welcome you back to Ron Hill Gaming. We are here today in a game called Man Eater. Man Eater is the game where you play as the shark. And it's available on the Epic Games Store, same place where you would find Fortnite. And Man Eater is put out by Tripwire uh, Studios, and it is quite the visual game. Uh, we've been in it for just a couple seconds to make sure that everything worked and uh, we haven't really played much of it. So we're gonna start right from the beginning and let you ride along as we play this game. It's unique. It is right after Shark Week and uh, so we thought it would be fitting to have a game with the shark. If you like the game and you wanna try it out for yourself. Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen. <laughs> Pierre LeBlanc. Known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody bad at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people. We've got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't but 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatih Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. I like the reality show uh, appearance of this. All right, if you like this game, it's available on the Epic Games Store. And it's on sale through next this Tuesday. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth. She has little to fear here in the Gulf. I like those settings. So if you want to pick up this game, it's a, you'll save about $10 if you uh, do so in the next week. It is uh, through August the 16th, I believe it is, of 2020. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Yeah, this part of the game is strictly about learning the controls. So let's learn the controls. The Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. The game is visually stunning. It's uh, got a lot of detail to it, and it is beautiful. Let's stun this one. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. And knifing, of course, is what we all think of. When we think of sharks, oh, let's smash through here. And that is with the dorsal fin coming right through the top surface of the water. But the, what other surface is there? A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. We can jump out of the water. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt ship. And then we submerge. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. This was a little tricky the last time I tried it. Oh, I got a quick break in the surface there. You have to really commit. Well.
lunging up towards the surface. There we go. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. Timing for that is really difficult. If you just get to the surface, you will not breach. There we go. There's a good one. Helps to have that seaweed as a marker of where you are. Oh, no, see, I broke the surface before I hit the button. And that time was just a little too early. So let's go for a happy medium here. There we go. All right. Now we can hold on to an object and whip shot it. So let's go down and oh, that's, that's just a one bite thing there, so that won't work. But let's do the turtle. It takes a bunch to get him. Poor turtle. We've been doing it out of the water. Now we're getting fancy. Now we're getting fancy. That Mahi's kind of big. We can do the same to him and prove that we know what we're doing. There we go. Now we have to kill ten beachgoers. What a, what a pleasant thought. All right, here we go. We're way out past the beach. Let's... Let's do some knifing. This ought to frighten a few people. All right, beachgoers. Shark, I should invest in you. Jet ski people aren't technically beachgoers. I think they want us over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, oh, you, you went out kind of far, didn't you? Stupid. While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. And although they took great pains to block out swear words, the gore in this is 100%, so you might want to watch the kids on this one. Otherwise, you'll never get them to go to the beach ever again. Let's have some fun with these here. that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. All right, now we've got some uh, combat with the boats. We can evade, get a second jump in the air, and then by doing this, that'll allow us to focus. How you doing that, shark? Well, if we can... There we go. If you're gonna be a diver, now it's not the time. Alright, let's go back to the boat here. Well, if he's gonna attack me, then we need to 
There we go. Just one less thing to worry about. to work all the controls. Did you get a second jump there? With any luck, we can get one of these people off the boat. Yeah, there we go. Less likely to attack you. Scaly Pete. Got us You're some toast. coming for Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's get her up on deck, huh? All right. On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. I, I like the reality show way of doing this. Yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. There's more oh, of the gore. Oh, look here. She's on for me. Hello. <laughs> Are you mama in there? Hashtag how you bomb on them. So I can identify her. <laughs> Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You maybe want to turn off that camera. I'd say he's probably in shock. And here's the television promo for the reality show of Maneater, 10 o'clock on Sunday nights. <laughs> it's awesome. first part of the game is just to learn the controls. Now the game really starts. Because now we're the pup. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. And there we go. Now the whole object is to survive and evolve 
and live in this open world that is the underwater world of this game. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. <laughs> all right, that's a landmark. Tourists love a good landmark. Find them all to earn rewards. So it's all about the reward system, giving you uh, parts and pieces to evolve and upgrade your shark. And I can see at the top of my map I have the... Um, almost like a compass type of a directional finder and there's an exclamation point that corresponds to my current mission my current mission is cradle to the grave and we are to find the fatic i guess fautic fautic bayou grotto and while we're doing that we'll get this little guy so he's so small, he can't even eat a catfish in one bite. Or a grouper. That's a grouper up here. Our health is full right now. In most games, red means bad, but here it looks like red is full. So, Oh, there's something trying to catch our attention here. Oh, it's just a reflection. Off the glass. Very cool. And although you don't see the water, you definitely know that you're underwater. There's part particles floating and uh, you hear it. And there's an audio tone. Now, the, the game makers have given us uh, a little visual clue here. You could be swimming around and absolutely never see this grotto. But I saw this in a video, uh, or a kind of a commercial for the game, and uh, if you follow that, that's where you come down into the grotto. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. We're safe here. This is home base, and this is where we do all our upgrading and evolution in this game. And it looks like we can hit the I button to open our evolution panel. And we have a available slot on the body that is not locked. So we can upgrade to the tiger body. Requires age pup and uh, I only have 400 and it says 8,000. But let's see what happens. Nutrients. They increase our level and upgrade our evolutions. Okay. So evolutions are mutations that grant you amazing powers such as bone armor, poison glands, or bioelectric organs. You earn evolutions by gaining infamy ranks, completing landmark quests, and killing apex predators. To equip the evolutions, return to the grotto and press I. You can, I assume that's I. It might be one, but I think it's I. You can spend nutrients to upgrade your evolution. So if we hit that and equip that, looks like we have a new body. And they asked us to do our sonar, so there's that. Oh, we upgrade, I see, to upgrade what we have, we hit R when we come back and have enough money to do so. I got it. And our log, these are our missions, if you will. And these tell you kind of... Crawfish Bay. We haven't gone to Crawfish Bay unless that's where we started. Um, we are in Fautic Bayou according to the uh, postcard here. And our story is 17% complete, so we've got a lot to go here. All right, let's go back out. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins. This shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. And that is the R key. And we're looking for our next quest. Ah, oh, look at what that did. There's some catfish. 
boy. This little guy has a hard time with the cat. Kind of big. Oh, musket lines. Go that way. Oh, we've got marks on the map now. So, catfish fever. Oh, we have wildlife can be hostile, evade to dodge. When you see the wildlife glow, they're vulnerable. Attack while they're vulnerable to stun them. And then the same Q and E to evade that we learned upstairs. If you're the same size or larger than the combative wildlife, then you're vulnerable and you can thrash them to maintain control. Or when they are vulnerable, excuse me. So our thrashing is grabbing and shaking our mouse. And then we can focus threat while underwater. Okay, so those haven't changed. So, catfish fever. Something big is after us. The musket plunge looks to be very aggressive. Oh, an alligator. I don't think we want to mess with him. Whoa. We're here for the catfish, dude. He may be too. He may be here for the catfish as well. I believe that's what alligators would eat. A hungry heart approaches the vulnerable prey. So we'll get a little bite there to... Pick me. Which tells me I probably have to engage him. But I'd rather not do that. I'd like to find the nutrient chest. That's another way of upgrading, it said. Actually, if we're behind him, I'm going to give him a little sneak attack here. Well, I probably Even should stay dead, away from The him. shark is still a potent menace to any and all living things. Get our strength up here. The overhunting of Fontix Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Alright, so our next mission. Ah. This is so hard to. There we go, kind of like air combat. Let's see if we can... Level two! That's a bigger shark already. Yeah, you won't want to mess with level two now. Level one was probably okay for you, but level two... Oh, I missed! That's not good. Oh, did I miss that? to go after their face though. Alright, let's 
Thought I was dead. Thought I was dead. I think alligator's almost dead, but I'm not doing too well. Let me get out of here. A grouper feeding makes for a fascinating, if not slightly nauseating, spectacle. There we go. There we go. Full speed. Now we've got to get this musket lich. Telling us to get the musket. Alright. Thrashed our way through that one. What's on our map? Anything? Nothing. Where'd our alligator go? I'm gonna head back this way. Oh, there's our alligator. Oh, that's a full strength alligator. Catfish fever. Musky business. So musky business is what we're working on now. And okay. Looks like we haven't done what we need to do yet. Oh! Good lord. Okay, we're swimming, we're swimming, we're swimming. What is that? What is that? What is that? All right, here we go. Alligators chasing us. I'm down dramatically on health. But that's the way to do it. Well, it's alligator. There's another alligator. Better get back out of here. Whoa. Let's find something to eat. Let's find something to eat. Hey, look who's here. It's Chimpy. Say, Hi guys. Hey, Chimpy. Play a man eater. The Predator's torpedo-like form allows her to navigate the area efficiently. Let's go. Unfortunately, this is a one-player game, so Chimpy can't join in. Oh, God. Not a good place for a shark. Oh, I think that might, well, I think that hurt me. It's supposed to hurt the shark, or the alligator, not the shark. Whoa. If 
thought he was blinking, or not blinking, but glowing. Okay. That does damage if you do that. Gotta go for some food here. We're looking for food. We're looking for food. We're looking. We're looking. We're looking. Turtle works for me. Rupert. Turtle. It's one of those mu muscle-edge things. They must be a predator of sorts. We're supposed to destroy one of them, but man. damage can these things take? Oh, well, it doesn't help if you miss. Oh, boy. Grouper, grouper, grouper. Come on, grouper. Bless you, Jimmy. disoriented underwater here. I've got to get my map out, but I don't want to be this alligator's box lunch for all. Focus or submerge, focus. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I'm not exactly focusing my attack. If I can take out an alligator, these muscle edges are not going to... I think they're such... Big... Oh, no! Another predator-prey drama comes to its conclusion. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for today. We will try to get back to it and see if we can get to the next level next time. Remember, this is Maneater, and you can get on Epic Games. If you like what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell. It helps us a lot. And we will see you next time. Oh, what's that, Chimpy? Next time. And if you want to see any of the other videos we post, click the um, Ron Hill Gaming icon on the bottom and check out our Fortnite Duo video. Oh. Uh, might like that. That's right. We do a little Fortnite Duo. So if you're into Fortnite, then we'll see you over on that one. Till next time. Have fun. Play those games. Bye-bye.